Uh, what's up? Um, uh, this is going to be kind of like a series. Um, there'll be a couple of videos um, on how to fix um, like um, errors of your computer and stuff. Um, this one's going to be blue screen error. Um, it's not the well the kind that you turn off, turn on error um, blue screen when you just get it when you're in another program that just crashes your computer. You can turn that and fix it, and it just um, run a scan or diagnostics and. It should be fine, but if it's a blue screen that you turn it off, turn it back on, and it does nothing, and you can't fix it, this is the way how to fix it. Almost maybe about maybe say seventy percent will fix it, and after that you just need to do some diagnostics and that on your computer. Um, but um, um, but um, <laughs> yeah, you need to first have a disc. Um, so this is just a Dell Dimension Operator System disc. Um, either I think it works with the same way with Windows XP disk if you've got that or you can go to CNET download a uh, disk for it for your system whatever you're running and do it that way so first of all what you want to do is you want to insert the disk into your computer so you have it and then what you want to do is you want to click F12 to go into your boot um, operating system so F12 boot menu Oops, so dizzy. Let me just fix that. Alright, okay, here we go. So you'll come to these options. So you'll have my hard drive right there, and you've got onboard or USB CD ROM drive, system setup, hard drive diagnostics, boot uh, um, to your utility partition. So what you want to go is you want to go down to CD ROM and then click enter. And then you'll click F1 key. And then after that, click any key to continue. So you'll come to this. I'll need to cut because this takes a little bit. So yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, after that, you click, and um, we'll get to that part anyway. So yeah, just after a couple of minutes of it loading, you'll get to this screen. So you've got to um, basically number one is to set up a new Windows XP, um, like completely do your system right up, or Number two is to repair your Windows XP installation using the recovery console, press R, or the last one is to quit. So we want to click R to repair it. So we'll click R. Let's see how long this takes. Might take a bit, we might need to cut it again. So yeah, let's, let's see. Let me see where it gets us to. May not take that long. Yeah, let me just cut this because I think it will take a little bit. After that, you'll come to this screen right here. So what you want to do is you'll have one, or if you've got different partitions, you click it, whatever. But um, what you want to do is just click number one and enter. Just get asked for, it might ask for a password. Right, type the administrator password. I don't know why, um, I just click in and it works. So yeah, um, after that, you're basically in the system. So um, I think so. Let me just check real quick. Let me just go help. Right, so you've got all these codes right here. Tons of codes. You've got uh, boot, CD, copy, delete. Tons. Tons of stuff that you can fix your computer with. The one we want to do is, let me just see, is check disk or check drives or whatever. CHKDSK. So what we want to do is we want to go all the way or enter, enter, enter to get out of help. So, <clears throat> now it'll come up with Windows down here, you can see it right there. So, what you want to do is you want to go CH, what is it, CHK, DSK, and then click enter. When it, wait, I'm not going to click enter. Uh, click enter, it'll go through its stuff, it'll check a whole lot of stuff, and then it's, uh, it'll just give you this option again after it's all done. We all have different like, errors, and if you've got errors in that. Basically it fixes all them and then when you're done you click exit, it reboots your computer and that should be your blue screen done basically. Uh, you do not want to do this on a working computer. Um, I'm not, I know, it, um, I don't know, I think it just knackers up your drivers again like fixing your, because it'll put, I think, push your, um, back to old drivers. So you'll have to do a Windows update and fix all, um, put, um, just update the drivers again. 
um, just because it does that because it'll be booting off the disc when the disc, disc was made so it'll be the drivers that are on disc and then when you'll get you'll get a little triangle thing when you boot it back up telling you to update it and that should be your 